I should be live on YouTube as well as on Twitch. Okay. Okay, good. Thank you all for joining. Uh, today I am gonna play another match with uh, Ali Momani at Lee Chess. As you may know from the title of the video, I should get a challenge very times anytime soon. So before we go into the game, I think you would also play three plus two six games, and um, I'm gonna be commentating on my thoughts. Uh, thank you all for joining. Thank you, Lai. Thank you, Ahmad. Thank you, Mohammed. Uh, hello, Thomas. Hello, Mohammed. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining. Thank you for your comments. Let's see. No challenge yet. We'll we'll start in shortly in two minutes maybe. I think we would play six games with three plus two. That would be the time control. And uh, I'm gonna be commentating on what we are doing. For those who, who don't know, for those of you who don't know me well, my name is uh, Mikhailo Oleksinko. I'm Grandmaster from Ukraine. Uh, I also hold PhD in mathematics. Uh, I haven't done math in, in like decent math in like eight years, but uh, I love the theory of probability. Uh, Yes, me versus Ali Momani. Hello, good luck to me, good luck to all of you. I hope you will enjoy. Maybe I'll have to adjust my face to the right or a little higher once we start the game. Uh, I'm not sure how to uh, how to um, how to change it in in leeches. So I'm gonna get uh, get. Um, let me see my previous games. My previous games. That was Blitz. And yeah, I managed to win uh, all the previous games. So maybe he'll try to take some rating points from me today. Okay. So I'm just waiting for Ali Mamani to, to challenge me. And um, so this is also streamed at uh, Chessbase Arabia. You're welcome to, to check that stream as well. Uh, today in the evening, Chess-based Arabia, functional analysis. <laughs> yeah, functional analysis was uh, the field uh, in which uh, in which I made my I did my PhD. But that was like eight years ago. Soon, soon that would be uh, exactly eight years since I defended my thesis. Uh, but chess is my uh, is my is my nature. I love it. I do love mathematics and I do love theory of probability. So, but I haven't done it in quite some time. Uh, in the description to the video on my YouTube channel, you can find a link. I'm gonna self-promote myself a little bit here. Um, last year, I did a video course about tactics for the platform called Udemy, where people learn all kinds of things, apparently including chess. So I welcome you to click on the link and... Uh, uh, Chess Base Arabia is asking what? Functional analysis. Ah, okay, that was. In what field and mass do you have a PhD? Yes, answering questions for me there. Thank you. Uh, so I created a course about tactics. You can click on the link. You can check a few free preview videos to, to take a glimpse. Maybe you like it. If you like it, you can purchase it. If not, you can leave a hateful comment under this video if you want to. Okay. All right, maybe I should challenge, I should challenge Ali Momani myself, but I forgot, forgot the nickname. How do I check the game? Oh, games, yes. Now I played some friendly games, yes, Ali Momani. Ali Momani, I'm gonna click on him and I'm gonna, I think this is a challenge button. Yes, it is. Does not accept challenges. Okay. Okay, so I have to wait. I did not know that, that he, he had this setting. Let me contact. Uh, okay, maybe he's getting ready himself. Uh, today in the, in the evening, there's some message here. Hi, get ready. Yes, I am ready, thank you. Today in the evening, I'm gonna host uh, online uh, training seminar, training lecture, whatever you want to call it, at, with Chess Base Arabia, you are welcome to join. I think it would be, um, it would be on their YouTube channel. Uh, so we're, we're doing uh, 
this together. We are gonna be, I'm going to be discussing one of my good games uh, that I won a few years back. And... Uh, and... Uh, okay, some technical difficulties will start in a few minutes. Uh, I played a few years back and this is mostly about how to play in the middle game. Uh, we never reached the end game and the opening was not that fascinating so we'll only focus on the middle game in particular um, playing uh, open dynamic positions first usually at first the position is slow but then the action happens and you have to be ready to calculate a lot and for one hour i'm gonna be showing the game asking questions giving my thoughts that was a long game so it's not like a blitz or anything so you're welcome to join i think it starts in four and a half hours starting from this second which would be 9 30 ukrainian time all right so i can see some questions ah i think i have a challenge already yes i do so here we go ali momani white Alexienko black d4 um let's see you can you can uh, request if you want some particular opening me to play I'm gonna play solid chess for now. D4, D5, symmetrical solid chess. And the strongest opponent you faced or beaten. The strongest opponent I faced uh, by rating, that would be... Yeah, it's hard. The rating changes with time. I played Aronian, I played uh, Giri, I've played... Uh, now I developed my bishop. I played Ivanchuk, I played Gashimov, if any of you of that age that remember Vugar Gashimov 10 years ago, he was King's Indian defense is the request. Okay, and Banco and Queen's Indian, <laughs> it would be hard guys. Okay, thank you. I developed my bishop to a nice square. So uh, um, Gashimov I played 10 years ago, he was in top 10 in the world. Bishop g6, I'm stopping the e4 because then I take the knight. I managed to beat Ivanchuk and Gashemov. I lost to Giri and I lost to Aronian. Um, in, yeah, with Giri and with Aronian I was black, so it was tough. It was tough. Benko, King's Indian and Queen's Indian. Okay, attack the king, give all oh, checkmate. Okay, e4. Uh, hold on a second e4 the pawn on d4 is undefended so i can attack the bishop and take one or another or e5 is the move i forgot what is the move here how can i forget it rook d1 is the main move and the reason is the pawn is undefended so i think i can do this and if e5 e5 is not good knight takes queen takes i lose material or have to give up the bishop i think e5 is the move here e5 takes takes bishop moves here let's go e5 you don't want to let e5 happen then white would have space and two bishops and kingside attack that's not something one is looking for yeah best book on chess you i read best book on chess i read oh wow that you're asking very tough questions what is the best book i read yeah, I love books with uh, puzzles, with usually tactics. I like tactics and calculation. So I'm going to promote my coach's book, Perfect Your Chess. That was a pretty good one. Uh, Perfect Your Chess, you can Google that. Um, it's not... I, I don't think one should read chess books. One should study them. So... Uh, if you just lie on the bed and read your book and uh, you will enjoy it but uh, you will not learn a lot only when you look at the position you try your best to find the move that you would play in the game and you try very hard and you fail then you learn if you just read the answer it's not interesting it's not very useful so i can take if rook takes and bishop f7 would be the problem what else can i do and um, yeah i think i should take i think i should take king's gambit with white i never played king's gambit with white literally never 
Okay, I'm gonna get to your questions in a second when I'm happy with my position. For now, I'm not happy. White has two bishops and the center. So I need to use some dark squares. There's e file, the rook is undefended. There's queen b6, bishop e3, bishop c5, a5. Queen moves back. That should be fine. Queen b6, rook moves away. I go rook e8. Maybe I do that. Queen b6 attacking the rook. What's the reason of instability of my rating? I can go about 1600. Yeah, usually, usually tactics is the problem. Uh, I don't know. I don't know you, so it's very hard to give a personalized uh, answer. Um, usually it's tactics that is failing people. Um, in particular, because people are doing too simple tactics, like puzzle rush and stuff. Rook a to e8. I want to keep an eye on the pawn on f7. I feel uncomfortable. Bishop takes f7. Oh, Valeria is late again. Yeah. Uh, one should do a challenging tactics that take that take more time than like two seconds or, or even a minute. Then one can uh, become better. Okay, bishop e3. Do I go queen a5, then f3, and I take that poisoned pawn? I don't like it. F3 is coming. I can go bishop c5. I want to exchange that bishop. Bishop c5, a5, queen c7, takes, takes, f3. F3 is coming. I do not like it. Either I am playing worse or Ali is doing much better today. Let's see. I'm going to try to focus on the game for now because I'm very low on time. I'll get to your um, questions later. I need to get set my position right. I think f3 is the move. I don't want to take that poisoned pawn. What do I want? Knight centralized the knight. Mm. I don't like my knight on f6. I want to use tactics to jump to d5 at some moment if I can. If bishop ah bishop moves, takes takes queen c uh, rook on f8 is stuck. I don't like it. If bishop moves, I just rook d8, just, just put the rook on open file. And then I would be ready to take the pawn on c3. If rook takes, I take with the rook. Mm -hmm. What's next? Bishop c3, bishop c5. Those are the moves that I want to make in this position. Bishop c5. At some point, maybe g5, g4 could be a good idea. But for now, it's... Although g5, I can play g5 right now. Because if takes knight f3 check. But then my pawn would need protection. That would be a risky play. Rook c1. I said I'm gonna go g5. I'm gonna do it. h3 and I'm gonna go g6. And king g7. Not so sure why I need that. Okay. Can he do that? Okay. Check. And takes. f6 is protected. I think I'm doing fine. King g7. c1 rook is semi-protected. What else can I do? I want to give check. Oh, the pin is good. So I'm gonna... He wants e5. I'm gonna stop it. I'm gonna stop e5. I keep check. Keep an option. Rook h8 now. Attack some weaknesses. Rook takes h4 is a blunder. My apologies. Queen e5. Queen f4, bishop c3, takes, check, I do not, what am I doing? Why did I give that check? I come back to e5, <laughs> it was not a good idea. Rook d8, rook d6, g4, and I'm in huge trouble. Oh, okay, that was not the best move, F, he needs to attack the f7. Now I regroup my knight to e5, where it would be perfect. Okay, and then my rook from d6 would be free to come in white's position. Let's see if that is a good idea. I'm just going to attack some pawns. My knight on e5 holds everything, I think. Takes, pawn takes. I think these three pieces are managing my position quite well. Yes, knight g4 fork is the problem for him. What's my next move? Just push some pawns. My knight on e5, I'm going to attack a little bit. I'm gonna pin because I need to exchange some pieces and now push the pawn. 
push the tempo. I think that was the song. Push it. I'm just pushing it. Um, just what do I do now? Rook back to b4 maybe. My knight on e5 is amazing. Rook f6. Rook c4. Where is he going with his bishop? I'm gonna give check. And I'm gonna push the pawn. And I'm gonna keep pushing. Oh, I'm ready to exchange. Always ready. Now I don't have to worry about my king. Rook d3. Where does he move the bishop? I'm gonna pin him. Then I'm gonna go rook b2. Aha. Uh -huh. Wait a minute, he wants to take my pawn on a3. I forgot about that. I thought it was an easy win. I was wrong. The bishop is very strong. Check again. Come back to a2. King f8. King e8. I'm coming with the king. Not sure where yet. Coming closer. Takes, takes. Really? c3? Okay check a2 oh my goodness he blundered i think it was still a draw that was tough yeah we have increments so no point in doing that wow that was really hard can i give the link to this seminar uh it's uh it's chess base uh, arabia web channel i think the link is in the description to this video okay e4 is my favorite move e4 uh, what rating did i have some difficulties to cross 2600 that was really difficult for me really really difficult it took me years and then at one moment i just forgot that i need to cross it and i managed to do so another question regarding probability theory frequentist approach of Bayesian oh my goodness I I do not remember what is that I do not my apologies Valeri I'm not that good in probability okay what so what are why isn't he, okay e6 I'm gonna go c4 uh-huh if I'm requesting the request for openings, Nimzo, please. Okay, it's not only up to me if Nimzo happens on the board. But okay, I will see. I like, I want to play King's Indian. It's much more fun and very risky. A6. Okay, so here's clearly okay with getting me the center. Okay. Ali says that you play like I am. Okay, I'm not sure if that's true. But I agree in some games I do play like even wor much worse than I am. Okay. Please change the settings of board and pieces. Ah, okay. You don't see my time. My apologies. My apologies. I need to change it. No, nope. That's not what I'm doing. Oh, my apologies. This is my face. I'm going to move it like this. I'm not sure how to change. I don't need all this part to the left I'm not sure how to how to take it away bishop to c5 what is this at least now you can see my time okay apologies again okay could you give, give me him one match at least I'm trying I'm not playing so well so he will have his chances do I push b4 now? Do I go just bishop e2? Bishop e2. I just develop pieces. Queen b6, knight a4 I have. Queen e5, knight f3. And otherwise I'm just gonna castle next. Just gonna castle next. I need to really do something about those settings on Lee Chess. Because that looks just weird. My face is right here. There must be a better way to do it. Do it have a full screen mode? You know, on chess.com there's a button for full screen mode. Oh my goodness, h5, that is creative. That should be wrong. He clearly intending knight g4 when I castle. That's obviously his plan. So what can I do about that? 
Should I do anything about that? Should I delay castle, just develop my bishop? Yeah, I think I would do that. I don't want a castle yet. If he goes knight g4, I simply take his pawn with the queen. b6. Okay. Take easy on him. Ali is so nice to be beaten like that. <laughs> okay. So a question after finish the game related to chess. I wish you win. Thank you. Okay. B4. I want some space. I love having space in my position. He has to move back. Oh my goodness. Okay. This is just a blunder. Knight to b5. Okay. Not entirely a blunder, but a very typical jump. He has to take on b4 now because both of his pieces are under attack. He takes on b4. I take. He takes on a. Oh my goodness. Okay. Knight takes d6. I have two bishops, but my position is better. That is the evaluation. e5, pawn on g2 is poisoned. Yeah, that's it. He blundered, unfortunately. He played so well previous game. I can make my face screen smaller. Yes, I can. I can. Okay, he just resigned. I'm not, I want to really want to change the setting of the of the chessboard. I can make the board bigger, but how do I move away things that are uh, at the left? I'm not so sure how to do that. I'm going to adjust my face a little bit. Yes. Yes, something like this is fine. Okay, King's Indian it is. I apologize for these technical difficulties. I'm not used to uh, playing on leeches. Coach uh, is not true. They said all, all he did. What? I don't understand the question. Some comments is not true. Okay. Which is more important for amateur player. Opening tactics, strategy, and game practice. Uh, C5 I'm going to play. I think middle game is the most important part of the game. So one should study that. Uh, middle game is a lot about calculation. So improve your calculation by doing challenging tactics. You do need to know some openings, of course. I'm going to develop my bishop now. I'm going to castle quickly. Now it's time to castle. Okay. Bishop d3. I'm going to go b6 now. Knight here. Uh, what is the right way to go here? I can exchange the bishop is bishop a6 or I can aim for e4 square. I'm going to aim for e4 square. There is something called Zen mode in the setting uh, that removes the things. Ah, yes, there was, there was a setting like that. Hold on a second. Board geometry? And no. Board theme? No. Zen mode. Let's see. Okay. That is better, although the board still is very much to the right, uh, to the left. Let's see if they didn't intervene with my stream. But there's no clocks. Ah, the clocks are hidden. Okay, wait a second. I need to move my face away. And now I can put my face here. Okay, this one is better. Thank you. I would, I would use it more often. Okay, I'm again low on time. So what do I do? Put my knight on e4, develop this knight. I'm gonna put my knight on e4. I'm violating the rule of playing the opening. You're not supposed to move pieces twice. But in this case... Uh, uh, thank you, Ahmed. Yes. The names are hidden. Uh -huh, everything is hidden. I have studied middle game Sicilian defense dragon variation. Yeah, dragon is a good variation, but you have to have lots of very good memory to memorize it. Usually it's not about the opening. None of the most of, none of the games are lost in the opening. It is very rare that this is the case. Knight e5. Usually the idea is that I can just kick it with f6. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Um, usually the opening is not an issue. You do have to know where to develop your pieces. You do have to know what are the typical plans, typical ideas. 
yeah but middle game is the most important one and it requires calculation and strategy and you have to study that you have to study that okay which just books gms read after they become gms i think they stop reading books they study mostly openings although uh, well books on tactics because you need to keep your um keep your brain sharp be able to calculate variations okay how old am i and to, i'm 33 yes i'm 33 um which books for improvement uh, there's a request to block someone I don't mind people um, who is stronger Magnus Carlsen or me uh, thank you for the compliment but the answer is obvious I think okay you like my way thank you thank you so much who's my favorite player i think magnus once said that myself <laughs> myself five years ago i think that was his answer uh i think i can give you the similar answer i really love the way i played um let's say four three four years ago and now it's oh something happened to oh bishop h4 okay there's another blunder I'm afraid g5 I can play and attack two pieces at once but it really weakens my king what else can I do knight d2 king d2 he would play g5 bishop h7 and queen h5 okay if I go g5 now what's gonna happen g5 now and I attack two pieces yeah I don't see any problem with that queen g4 I just go f5 again. Okay, let's go g5. If I lose, I lose. Okay. Bishop takes e4. Okay, now I can choose what do I want to capture. I take this. My e6 pawn is loose, but two of his pieces are hanging. White would have definitely a compensation. Queen g4. Oh my god. Queen g4. I did not see this move. One move ago I could play f5. Now it just loses the pawn. If I take f takes e, bishop g5. Queen moves. Bishop check on h6. Wowchie. That's not good. It's really not good. I can go h5 and force a draw, but he may reject it. Oh my god, this I think I'm gonna lose this one. Bishop takes g5, queen d7, bishop ch ah, queen e8 maybe. Queen e8 could be stronger to have queen g6 at my disposal. Really, this move takes, develop the knight. He has several pawns, but at least my king is safe now. He was definitely winning here. Queen c6. Oh, I have no good way to... Oh my god, I cannot protect my bishop, queen g6. This is horrible. He takes both... Oh my god. Oh, that's a silly win. If queen d7, queen g5, queen d6, queen g2, long castle, and I just lose. Oh my god, that was a terrible game. That was his chance. Just take any of the pieces. And that is it. Oh, that is a poor play. At least I'm answering your questions, so that is good. Okay, how do I... I'm playing knight f3 it is lc0 stronger than stockfish yes it is in classical chess it is stronger b6 okay c4 fast as dfa stop messaging the same nonsense about ahmed beating uh, uh, Al Halti beating Ali Mumani 10 0. Nobody cares. Uh, Queen e8 saved black. Have you been to an Arabic country before or participate there in a tournament? 
I played in Arabic Emirates and I visited Egypt and uh, and uh, we played in Morocco. Where else have I been? I've been to Qatar. E3, okay. Knight C6. Play with 10 second increment. Yeah, that would be a, that would be much better. I could address your questions. Uh, oh, put my picture on the other side. That's a good advice. Hold on a second. There's so much room there. Okay, something like this. And I'll make it smaller. Come on. Mm, smaller picture. Yes, that is better. That is one good advice. Okay. Knight f3, uh, a3, Petrosan variation, if I'm not mistaken. I did play against uh, Amin Bassem. I I'm guessing you, you mean him. Yes, I did. I played him once. 2015 Al Ain Open. We had a draw. I was winning. I had worse position. I enjoyed playing him a lot. My favorite white opening, uh, French with knight d2. I like my knight d2, in particular knight f6 variation. Oh my god, I cannot catch up with all the questions. Knight bd7, okay. What did alpha 0 do in those positions? It put the bishop here, then put the knight there, rook here, just develop pieces. Have I played Adli? Yes, I did. He's my good friend. We played once in 2016 in Turkey. I won a very good game. And uh, what do I do with my bishop now? What do I do with my bishop now? I'm going to let him take my bishop. I was um, coaching, um, still sort of, yeah, we're in good, in good terms with... Uh, Ahmed and Basem, I was coaching them. Okay. French knight d2, isn't black getting a comfortable position after c5? Yes, black does. I don't like that variation. I do like knight, third move knight f6 for black in French. I enjoy playing those positions. Although, yeah, knight d2 is not a very dangerous weapon. Okay. I never built, been to Algeria. Knight f6, e3, just hold my center. Okay. Okay, I, I'm gonna focus on the games, on the game now. Uh, what do I do next? Uh, do I use the g file? No, I need to develop my rook here. I need to move my queen maybe even to f3. C, c5. Okay. That's a good way to undermine my center and opened it for two bishops. I'm gonna take. If pawn takes, I'm gonna... Oh, really? Pawn takes. Okay, I'm gonna put my queen on b3 with a tempo and my next move is rook d1. I'm choosing a dangerous strategy because black has the center, black has two bishops and my king is compromised. However, there's a monster bishop here and I wanna use it. I'm not afraid of bishop jumping away. I'm gonna put in enormous pressure on this pawn on d5. If black can handle that pressure or push d4 at the appropriate moment, I'm in trouble. Bishop a8, I'm going to move my queen to a2 to keep the, the pressure. PhD, I beat in Calreza 2017. Alereza, yes, but he was not that strong when, we, when I played him. He was uh, not even 2500, I think. So that does not count, I guess. Okay, so he is using tricks that my queen is misplaced. Okay. Queen a2. Four attackers on his pawn. I'm gonna take it on next move. Unless he pushes d4. He pushes d4. I have to take. He takes my bishop. And now I'm in trouble. I don't have a good bishop. I am pawn up, but my pieces are really poorly placed f4 is weak there's one check and b2 is hanging oh my god 
I'm much worse. I'm much worse here. King g1, queen takes b2, queen takes b2, he just takes my pawn and I don't know what to do about that. Just, mm, I have to take, I'm gonna, and bishop c5 is coming, this is terrible. Yeah, I'm gonna lose this one. Uh, pff, knight a4 to block c5, then rook to open file, I guess. Rook to open file, a3 is hanging. I'm going to b7. My knight is on the edge of the board. This is horrible. This is horrible. What would I do? I would take the pawn if I was him. h5. Hmm. Rook b3. Pawns are important in the end game. King g2 is my next move. Or knight c3. King g2. He would try to double his rooks. I'm gonna block it like this. He's gonna take my pawn. I'm gonna jump with my knight someplace. I'm gonna jump with my knight. Bishop c5, I'm gonna pin. How is he going to unpin? Knight d6 is taken and then takes on f7 is the threat. Knight d6, rook c7, knight takes f7. He's still pinned. Now his king is in the mating cage. Bishop knight g4, h3. Oh, oh my god, he takes my knight. I forgot about that. Uh, rook a4, bishop takes pawn takes and I managed to make a draw. Okay, maybe I try to win a little bit. I'm gonna try to win. Never been better in this game. Now my king would be going. Now my rook needs to go behind the pawn. Uh, rook behind the pawn. Let's see if I can trick him into losing this one. He should have pushed the pawn at some point. G5. Ooh, I did not see this move. I'm gonna give a check. Why? I do not know. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna go H4. And this is obviously a draw. Yeah. Okay, six. And that's a draw. I offer a draw. I think that's the way to do it. Okay. Draw agreed. Oof. A draw, finally. Finally. Okay. How can improve in strategy and calculation for intermediate players? Uh, do more um, calculation, but not the chess.com calculations. The, the complicated, more, more challenging ones where you have to sit and put pieces on the board. Depending what your goal is. In recent days, nobody wants to become better at, uh, uh, at classical chess. So if you want to play better blitz, just do some bullet. But for classical chess, over the board, um, over the board study is much better. Okay. Chess training session tonight. Yes. You're my chess legend ever. I don't have one. Bishop takes. B3. Okay, very solid chess. He just wants to put all his pieces to the center and say that I'm a little bit better. So how can I trick him? Do I go F5 here and then D6? I'm gonna try doing that. A little asymmetry can help me here. It's very hard to win with black in symmetrical positions. Kasparov or Carlsen? Oof. Yeah, I think Kasparov was way stronger than the rest for 20 years. So Carlsen is halfway there. Although Kasparov, in, um, for many, many years, he was way... Oh, that's not a good move. That potentially weakening this pawn that I can use with f4, but I need... Oh, he wants to go knight g5? 
I don't think so. So h4, alpha 0 played it, but that's a not a good way. Potentially that's a weak square. Check the uh, famous old game by Nimtsovich. I think it was like almost a Tsukzwang. There was a famous game, symmetrical position with the bishop on g2 and white for no need played h4 and black made use of it by pushing f4 eventually. That pawn is potentially weak, but it's not that easy to use. He clearly wants knight g5. Do I stop it? Yeah, let's just stop it. I started playing chess when I was four and a half or something. You need a better game. Yeah, then I should shut up and play chess and not answer your questions. Book for 1400 FIDE to get to 18. Fast. I don't think there are fast solutions. It depends on the problems you are currently having, which I do not know. In my, in my experience, it's usually the calculation. No, I do not know women grandmaster Nancy Iram. Maybe I've seen her on some tournaments, but I don't know her. Knight f6. So I'm going to end square here. And yeah, let's just... Okay, he wants d5 and checkmate me. I'm not afraid of that. Why do you play versus Ali Mamani? He's so bad and low rating. <laughs> oh, come on, be more respectful. He should have crushed me twice already. Four and a half years, so young, respect, yes. Greatest win against... What my greatest win? I would say um, Vugar Gashem of 2010. It was a very good fight and uh, he was the highest rated player I ever beat in 2760 or 2740, depending how you at which moment do you count his rating. So he went c5, I can just ignore it. I'm just doing my thing with f4. Now the position is tense. Until this moment, the position was very slow. He was maneuvering, I was maneuvering. Uh, I earned my GM title in 2009, sorry, 2005, when I was 19, 18, I was 18. So I was not a young prodigy. I like your English, man. Thanks. Thank you, Hussan. I have a problem with taking the right decision in complicated positions. Oof. That's a tough question. In complicated position. I studied the book Critical Moments in Chess, which helped me um, by Kaprindashvili, helped me improve my... Uh, Mm, a feeling of when to think very hard and when to find the move that really matters. Now the position is, for example, very tense. I need to be very careful because I can just lose in one move. I know d5, queen, g7 happens or something. You know, if my queen was on c6, d5 and I resign. So the position is very tense and I need to calculate a lot. And that's where, where you have to spend more and uh, more time to get to the bottom of things. Take some to take with the pawn. I want to keep that was not a good move. He just developed my rook for me. Okay. All right. Now, now I'm should be should have a kingside crushing attack. But for now, he's very solid. What can I do to get to him? Should I go d5 and bishop d6? Because my bishop, so these pieces are in the attack, but my queen and my bishop are not. I do want to take on f2 and then take on g3, but I'm not ready for that yet. I will be ready after d5, but I have to take into account knight e5, bishop g2, king g2. Knight will come to e5. I do not like that. How do, maybe I just move my queen, but then pawn is hanging. Oh, wow, this is different. Do I go rook a5, rook h5? That would be fun. That would be wrong, but that would be fun. How can I... It's really hard. I thought I have a great, great position. Apparently this is not that easy. I do not know what to do. Okay, d5. 
I spent way too much time thinking I should have played something faster. Knight e5 is a great move now. No, I was planning bishop d6. Thank you for helping me. Takes on g2. King g2. Aha. Bishop takes. And now my queen is coming. My queen is coming to the king side. f3 is not possible. gf not good. My queen is coming to h. I'm planning f3 in the future. c7 is hanging, but I don't mind. Queen f7. Now f3 is... If queen c7, I go f3. If not, I take... Take on f2. No, it's not winning. Queen g3. Okay. Yeah, boring chess. Knight goes to e4. And I convert to a winning hand. Oh, c7 is hanging. I forgot. Knight f2 was a fork. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, horrible. Horrible. Rook is coming. Is it a mate? It should be a mate on next move at some point. Now it's a uh, five, four, three, two. Checkmate. Okay. That was not a very good game, but I eventually got to his king. It, it was only possible because he played h4. How many games did we play already? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, the last one. Okay. This is the last game. Uh, haven't you left Stockfish running by accident? My lagging, my video is lagging a bit. Ah, I should have changed the setting for really, a uh, really small delay. Let's go D4. There was a, some, some question that I wanted to answer. Oh, Dutch. Okay. Dutch, 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 Dutch. Let's do Knight C3. Let's try some sidelines. Oh. Thank you. I'm very happy to put my pawn on e4. I take. I pin. I take. Maybe we can recreate the famous game with queen to h7. Oh no. He played a boring line. So I'm taking the bishop and I will occupy the e5 square at some point in the future. Ah, we had a similar game. Yes, we had a similar game. And I gave up a pawn. I had no no compensation, but I won. Okay, let's see what I can do now. I really want him to go knight c6 and I go bishop b5 and take. So I just develop my queen first. Castle. Okay. And I castle here. This is more fun. Unless he goes queen f4 to a boring endgame. Why shouldn't black try to conserve the bishop pair here? Because the, it is way more important to, to develop your pieces quickly and get some center. Oh my god, this is really bad. Now I'm gonna dominate on black squares. I'm gonna get this and I'm gonna get this. I just need to be very careful in uh, doing that. He wants to push c5 at some point, so I'm gonna stop it. I'm gonna stop e5, I'm gonna stop c5. By the way, there is a great game that I played. Uh, I can block, but uh, I don't want to waste time. Just ignore. Just ignore. Um, I played a very good win against... Uh, oh my goodness, what's his name? Czech player. Oh my god, the, the, the name slipped my mind. Stocek, Giri. Stocek, not that Giri, another Giri. I'm gonna take the pawn. Free pawn. I like free pawns. Rook is hanging. C7 is hanging. Okay, that was really bad play by, by Ali. I don't wanna. I don't wanna block. Okay, okay. Let me, let me try. I never blocked anyone. Let me block him. Let's see. I'm not sure. I clicked on a block button. We'll see if that works. You want a positional masterpiece after bishop. 
takes c6. Okay, I don't want a second pawn. I need to complete my development. One pawn is enough for a win. I need my knight on e5, but then I need to protect f2, and I'm gonna go rook d2 to accomplish that. I'm gonna make sure that black gets zero counterplay. I'm gonna try to play Karpov style now, preventing any counterplay. I'm from Lviv, Ukraine. A3. That pawn, I will take that pawn later. Queen e7. I can take another pawn on d5. But that's so greedy and not elegant. I want something elegant. Let's see. Let's see what can I do. Rook e3. That's a nice move. Okay, he's just insisting me to take some of his pawns. Take this or that. I want to take on d5. But then he's gonna play on take on a3, and I take on d7, he gives a check. Okay, I'm taking on d5. c7 would give his rooks uh, too much activity, although that would still be winning. But I, I want a little bit more fun. Maybe I blundered something. Usually it's not practical to play a move like this. You have to calculate stuff like queen a3, like rook, b2, rook b2 not working, but still. Any move with the queen, the capture, rook f3 capture, they all do not work. But this is very not practical to do what I just did. It's better to just play some, just something very solid. Rook to b6, okay. Now I want to move my queen. I'm going to move my queen. And when you are up material, you just offer exchanges. He cannot even take because then... And then the rook would be hanging and the bishop would be hanging. Okay. Okay, I think I blocked. I think I blocked. Let's see, that's my first block ever. Okay. Okay. Queen d6, my move. What do I do next? If I take, I improve his pawn structure. Maybe I go knight e5. If he takes my pawn on e f2, I go knight c4. He has to take my queen. I take and I win. So I'm going to go knight e5. Little tactics. Rook f2, knight c4. Queen f4. Ouch. Queen f4. I missed queen f4, I go g3, he goes queen h6. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, I may have blundered something. It's very impractical what I'm doing, but I want something nice. He has to go queen f4. If he takes my queen, I take, rook and bishop are hanging and I'm winning. And he goes queen f4. So I cannot take the rook because rook take, queen takes e3. But on queen f4, I may go g3, he would have to go queen h6 and then I would go d5 protect my rook with the queen and then attack his rook at the same time and open my rook so I am winning but this is very impractical just uh, in order to win more professionally it's just you exchange everything you can you're two pawns up you don't need so the best the best uh, way to convert an advantage is when you have to calculate nothing if you don't have to calculate any tactics, it means that you converted the advantage well. It means that you didn't give a single chance to your opponent. Queen h6, I'm gonna take on c7. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So we played six games, just like last time. Not all of them were so smooth as this one. And uh, thank you for joining. Have I played Carlsen? No, I haven't. Uh, another checkmate, queen sacrifice. Yeah, I wanted something nice, but play without queen. Come on, Muhammad. This is not serious. I was losing in at least two games today. Okay. All right. Thank you for watching. Tonight in uh, three and a half hours, there's going to be my lecture. So join through Chess Base Arabia. And... Um, Check the description of this video if you want to become better at tactics. Uh, thank you Chess Base Arabia for, for giving me all these viewers and thank you for thanking me. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, middle game is about calculation mostly 
and knowing the typical plants. So study some some pollen uh, formations, I would say. All right. Thank you so much. Sorry if I didn't uh, answer all the questions. My apologies. Thank you for joining. Stay tuned. Subscribe to my channel. Don't see a link to Chess Base Arabia in the description, by the way. Huh, really? Okay. I think I put it that my, my opponent's channel is this one. I think that's a link to, uh, to Chess Base Arabia. Google Chess Base Arabia. Okay. Thank you all. Take care. Stay tuned. Subscribe to my channel to get notifications. Goodbye.